Hey friends, welcome to my crib. So picture this scenario. There's a brand new foundation or concealer launch that you've had your eye on. Your best friend's talking about it, all the YouTubers are raving about it, and you wanna know what all the hype is about. So you take the product home, you try it on, and you love it. You love the formula, you love the product, except something's just a little off. It's the undertone. Here's how to fix that. So for this example, I'm going to be using one of my favorite concealers. This is from Glossier. All of Glossier's concealers are either neutral or warm undertone. Even though it's close to my complexion, you can tell that something's a little bit off. Compared to Kosas concealer that is made for olive undertones, you can see how much more peach and kind of orangey the Glossier color pulls. Because my undertones aren't neutral, it looks almost like a color corrector on me. For this product to match my undertone, I need to go straight to the source and add in some green. It's also very, very important to pick the right shade of green. Of course, we're looking for something that will match our olive undertone, but there are certainly plenty of products that have green, and they might be more light green or more dark green. So depending on the depth of your skin tone, you'll want to either pick a lighter olive green color corrector or something that is a deeper olive color corrector. Immediately, you can see how much better the color blends into my skin tone because we've given it what it was missing, which is the green. This is really DIYing your makeup, so it's very customizable. You can add in more green and take out more green as much as you need. For this example, I did have in just a little bit too much green, but I do go ahead and fix that in the next couple clips. I absolutely adore this for a number of reasons, but the number one has to be being able to make products work for you because sometimes you might get a product that looks great in the store and then you come home and it, it just doesn't look right and then you put it away and you forget to return it and get your money back so this is an awesome way to fix that cha-ching Another reason why it's so important to pick the right shade of color corrector is because you can pick a green that's a little too light and that means that it has too much white in it. So when you mix it into your product, the foundation or concealer, it's going to lighten it, meaning that the product may no longer match your skin tone even though now the undertone is correct. So here is when I went back into the Glossier concealer just to add more of that color in and I think you can see the difference, hopefully you can, because one side was just a little bit too green like I was saying earlier. And now we see a seamless blend of color even on the back of my hand. Undertones can even play an important role in setting powders. For example, this one, which is my favorite for personal preference, from Kosas has a golden base to it. This is great for me because I do have golden olive undertones, which don't worry, I will get to in a bit. But first, I'm gonna finish up my no makeup makeup look. And if you're curious about my base before I started concealing, I used a couple skin tints and Glossier's Future Dew, and this provided an absolutely beautiful base. What I love about this trick is that it works for any and all undertones. If you have a warm undertone, you'll want to add a color corrector that is more yellow or orange depending on the depth of your skin tone. If you are neutral undertone, you'll want to pick either a lighter or a darker peach shade. 
And if you have cool undertones, you'll want to pick more of a cool pink or a red shade depending on the depth of your skin once again. I'm gonna leave some color correcting options down below that encompass a wider range of shades for people who are more fair toned, medium skin tone, darker, and deeper. I would say the hardest part about this, I think for almost everyone, is actually determining what your undertone is. Your olive undertone can veer more cool, neutral, or warm toned, which is why many of us will think that we fall into one of those three categories. For the longest time, I thought that I was just warm golden and whole time I've been green. <laughs> So I will go ahead and leave below some helpful links. They might be articles or videos to help you best determine what your undertone is. I can't remember who said this, but it has stuck with me ever since. If you genuinely want to know what your undertone is, find a friend or someone that you know whose skin tone is very, very close to yours and compare arm to arm and you will see, wow, I look green next to them. Or wow, I look really, really yellow. Or wow, I look kind of gray, almost dead, my skin looks really dull, which is also kind of a hint that you might have olive undertones. <laughs> Your undertone will stand out so much more when you have someone that is almost the same color as you standing right next to you. It's almost like you don't know until you really, really see it. For a long time, I thought that many of my foundations and concealers, especially the Glossier one, matched my skin tone very well. And then I discovered Kosas, and they have quite a few options for olive undertones. And I realized comparing one next to the other, how much more neutral or how much more warm the product really was. It's a very eye-opening experience, but once you learn it and have this information, it is so good to have and to keep around with you. It's going to assist you a whole lot in picking your proper shade in the future. I would also recommend if you're able to go to your local Sephora and get product samples, try to find different foundations or concealers that offer a wide variety of undertones. Try to find your shade in a cool undertone, a neutral undertone, a warm undertone, and see if they do have olive. And from there, it should be pretty easy to to determine which color looks best on you. Y'all know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for watching again, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Stay safe.